started working with Butch on this donkey project about three years ago. Um, I knew the dog problem that Butch and his family were dealing with down here and talking to some other people that we work with suggested that I give Butch a call and uh, talk about the possibility of using donkeys as a guardian animal for wild dog control. Yeah, well, I've only dealt with Paul and yeah, and we get on well. Yeah, so, um, you know, and uh, we went through it, discussed it a few, few times, you know, and he, he come to my place and we discussed it and, and put a plan together, sort of, and, and, and yeah, it just went bloody perfect, yeah. Well, I made the time to come out and see Butch and Fiona at their place and we had a bit of a yarn about the idea of using donkeys for wild dog control and what that would involve. Um, and the idea was because, you know, the Pilly family are, are well known and well respected people in this area, have been dealing with dogs for years, that if we could get a trial going on this area and uh, it turned out successfully, then people would have a look at and see how it worked here and use it in other places. Wild dogs are a real problem in this area. Uh, especially for sheep producers. They do have significant impacts on people's financial situation due to uh, deaths and maulings, um, lamb, lambing problems because ewes are, are not lambing or running away. Um, we have had impacts on, with cattle producers. People say, I don't have a problem with wild dogs because I've got cattle. Well, we do have wild dog attacks on cattle. Uh, also pushing cattle through fences, um, stirring them up generally. They do have an impact on wildlife as well. Like, so when it all started, I was blaming eagles, you know, and probably once a year, uh, April, I think it would have been, you know, uh, one of my paddocks up in the top there, they're, they're coming through and getting attacked. And yeah, and I didn't have a, yeah, that, the wild dogs was the last thing on, we thought were here. Yeah, well, you could come down here, you know, and you could come down here and there could be 20 or 30 sheep killed one morning. So, yeah, so it's a bloody, um, yeah, and when you use a lamb in, yeah, they were like they can they can kill a bloody lot of lambs in a night. Yeah, one year there, I don't know, I might have lost 250 lambs, you know, and and then then the ewes, you well, they walk away from lambs. You don't know whether they're going to lamb properly the next year, and then then you know, 10 weathers here and 15 weathers and ewes and that there. So it, you know, it, it could add up to 20, 30 thousand dollars, and then yeah, every morning you come down here and find it, 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 it doesn't make you feel real good. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, there's, there's the, the problem with them as far as impacts directly on agriculture and also on people's mental health and well-being. Very distressing for people to come out and find sheep walking around, uh, still alive with their intestines hanging out. Uh, all that work you put in for years, you just see it strewn up the paddock. So yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a mental health issue as well as the financial issue. And if we don't find ways to manage the dogs successfully, uh, it's gonna be harder and harder for people to stay in, in business in these areas. You know, Paul's got the do donkeys here and handled them, so they, you know, be uh, taught to lead. And then, as you can see, they're, they're, um, they're, qu they're quiet. And yeah, and the donkeys, yeah, we just leave them there in the paddock and they do their job, yes. And you know, they eat the same grass, there's no looking after them, like it's a, quite easy, simple. Had to get the donkeys onto the farm here, onto the property, and they hadn't been handled before. They'd been into a set of yards, but they'd had no real human contact. So to make these sort of projects work well, you have to have animals that you can you know, work around and safely and uh, get up close to. So the first thing that I did was spend time with them in the yards, getting them used to being handled, touched, um, led around that I could put my hands on them uh, because that's really important if you've got to get them into the yards with your sheep. And then I started into the bonding process of getting them used to being with sheep. So through their protective nature, once they're bonded, uh, if a dog or a fox for, for that matter, comes into the same paddock with the sheep, they get very protective. Uh, they will chase, uh, actively chase away the dogs. They make a terrible braying noise, a very loud noise and if they catch the dog, they'll actually physically grab it. Um, they can strike at it with their feet, grab it with their mouths. They're quite aggressive, so they're very good defensive animals. We've trapped, we've uh, baited, we've go shooting, uh, we've howled dogs, yeah, and uh, we probably average down here, probably average five dogs a year. 
you know, and they're probably killing, you know, anywhere from 15 to 45 to 50 sheep and plus lambs a year and, and plus what you don't know, yeah. And yeah, so uh, the impact now, like with the donkeys down on this bottom end, has it's, it's been quite, yeah, remarkable. Since we've started on this property here with the donkeys and talking to Butch and Fiona and family over the years, there's been uh, no, to my understanding, no attacks from wild dogs on the sheep, which have got the donkeys in with them, which to me is an outstanding result, knowing the history of this area. Um, it's been a great outcome. I've seen the stress reduced on the family and also the financial um, impacts have been removed. So it's been a great result. I get excited about this project because to me, it's, it's a, it's something new that we can look to do. I get a lot of satisfaction out of working with the, with the donkeys and bonding them with the sheep and seeing it work. It's got a long tradition uh, in parts of Europe using guardian animals for livestock protection. And I've just enjoyed working with the pillies, working in this area and, and seeing a successful outcome. You can't get better than that.